You know guys, this last update we got for Season 4 Reloaded, I'm gonna be 100% honest. I actually kind of like the content. Now, does that mean I'm gonna start playing this game a little bit more because the content is pretty good? Fuck no! Yo, what's going on guys? It's the boy Fooly and I'm bringing you guys another video right here on Black Ops Cold War. And today, we're talking about our good old friend, SBMM, again. But before we get into anything, make sure to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and uh, yeah guys, let's get right into it. You know, usually when I talk about SBMM, I'm usually talking about how much of a burden it is, and just how much it burns through my brain cells. I mean, it pisses me off, it makes me angry. It pushes my interest to become an alcoholic, and that's usually what my SBMM rants are about. And this time it's a little different, you know, it's not so much anger anymore, it's more or less disappointment at this point. You know, Season 4 Reloaded came out just a few days ago, and when I first saw the roadmap, I was actually kind of impressed, I'm not gonna lie. Normally when I see any of these roadmaps for the new seasons or the updates, they look really stale, they don't look all that appealing, especially when there's only one map coming into the game, which in this case was Rush, and I'm not gonna lie guys, this map is so enjoyable. Even all these years later, it's so much much fun to play this map but the reason i'm so disappointed in this season is not because of the content because like i said this content is actually really good you know there's not that much 6v6 content there's a pretty good amount of zombies content and there's some pretty good warzone updates but unfortunately overall i actually don't like this season i don't care much for this update and that's 100 percent because of sbmm you know everybody talks about how horrible sbmm is because there's so many sweats and the only thing you come across in these lobbies is just a bunch of people running around with ak 74 use snipers shotguns etc but that's not my biggest issue my biggest issue is that this season was actually really good and sbmm literally sucked the fun out of it and believe it or not i actually prefer the other way much better you know i actually strongly prefer it when the season comes out like ass and then on top of that sbmm is ass and the reason i like those situations a lot better is because it makes for great content all right it makes for a good rant it makes for a lot of really good discussions but this time around it's not even like that anymore it's more like wow i actually kind of like this season update but at this point all i feel is pure sadness pain it feels like somebody's tugging on my balls i mean i'm getting these weird sensations guys i'm not gonna lie you know i'm gonna make a weird analogy but just follow along all right playing this game in its current state genuinely feels like cock and ball torture you know there's genuinely some people that enjoy this kind of torture and will enjoy cod even though they're getting cock slapped even though they're getting smoked they're getting disintegrated just getting absolutely cremated for no reason at all but then when you think about it in hindsight you just let somebody put on high heels and step on your balls how is that enjoyable at the end of the day you know you might have actually enjoyed the kink of doing it but in retrospect who the hell likes cock and ball torture? Get in the comments. Let me know. Do you like cock and ball torture? Because that's what it's like playing this goddamn game sometimes. And honestly, it just feels like a waste of a season at this point. Actually having a good update, fixing a lot of problems in Warzone, adding a lot of nice features in Warzone. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can have Dark Aether in Warzone now, which is honestly a blessing. You know, Zombies finally got a fat ass update. We finally got a map after like literally like three or four months. There's finally been a lot more weapon tweaks. A new map was added for 6v6. You know, it all sounds good until you start playing the goddamn thing and it feels like you're playing against three optic scumps on the other team that just finished snorting a shit ton of g fuel you know they're playing for 2.5 mil at cod champs they're playing like they have a peg up their ass so they need to be playing like it's life or death this stuff is not fun it's not fun you know i made a video about a week or so ago where i said if this game wants to come back to life because right now it's dead as hell, then they're gonna need to do a really good job with their updates. And lo and behold, all the stars aligned, all the planets aligned, my chakras aligned with goddamn mother nature, and they came out with a great update. Unfortunately, this shit's not fun to play. I don't think I've ever seen a single person say, hey fooly, Let's play some Black Ops Cold War, bro. Nobody's trying to play this game anymore. I've come to the conclusion that it actually doesn't matter what you put in this game, or even in Warzone as we're seeing now. This game is not gonna be good if the SBMM is cranked up higher than a wrench stuck in my asshole. And you know, I know there's a lot of people out there like me. You might be a student in high school or in college. You might have a simple nine to five. You might have a desk job. You might even have a career. And then after you have a long ass day, you wanna come home, 
you want to chill with the homies on COD, you know, maybe you want to crack open a beer, who knows, maybe you want to listen to music while playing video games, you, know, you heard that there was a fat ass update coming out for Cold War, or for Warzone, and then guess what, you have Johnny Sins in your lobby, bending you over, making you his bottom bitch, who the hell wants to do or be that, I'll tell you somebody who doesn't want to do or be that, goddamn me, and it sucks because the same thing goes for Warzone, Warzone got new perks, they got a brand new meta, a bunch of weapon tunings, another ban wave, and they still can't play it. And the reason they can't play is because Warzone is still infested with hackers. You know, I said it a few videos ago. If it's not the lack of content, it's the SBMM. If it's not the SBMM, it's the hackers. I genuinely don't think there's a way to escape any BS in COD. They can add as many hentai bundles as humanly possible. They can give us reactive camos and legendary blueprints. They can give us car horns and stickers for $20 a piece. They can add as many remakes as humanly possible, but none of that is gonna make the game playable if there's A, SBMM, or B, hackers. And again, guys, I just wanna reiterate, I'm a huge fan of COD. I'm probably gonna end up buying World War II Vanguard. I know for a fact I'm gonna have my gripes about it, but at the end of the day, I love COD, all right? This is just what I grew up on. For a very long time, we've been wanting good content in Cold War. Obviously, the more content, the better, but what I want for these seasons, if they're gonna continue doing seasonal updates, is quality content. And this particular update had great quality content. Unfortunately, it was ruined by SBMM, all right? There's tons of people who constantly complain about SBMM, they complain about hackers. Probably the two biggest components of why people don't like this game. And they keep pushing out all this content knowing damn well that people have these issues. You know, it just sucks when I actually enjoy the map I'm playing, when I have teammates on my team who literally have no hands. I'm talking like they literally do not have thumbs. Meanwhile, the enemy team just finished snorting crap. That's gonna do it for me today, guys. I'm curious to know what you guys think about all of this. Do you enjoy season four reloaded so far? And do you think this update or this entire game in general would feel much better with reduced SBMM and or no hackers? Leave your comments down below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, guys, it's been the boy Fully. Have yourselves a good one. I'm out of here. Two.